Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So in this one we're going to be unboxing the Pitaka Mag Easy stand and also the Mag Easy case. Now a full disclosure, Pitaka did send these over so we can do a review on these but obviously as always we'll be giving our honest opinion. So uh, let's get started with the case shall we. Um, these are for the iPad Pro 12.9 and the whole point of these are it's like a, a combined set that will allow you to use this stand and obviously this case as well. If you don't want to get the case, you can just get the stand on its own. I believe it comes with a little magnet in there. And the whole thing of it is got like a wireless charging stand in there for like your AirPods or for your iPhone. And it's just meant to be a more productive and I guess a premium approach to um, like the iPad stand. We are going to be doing a video in the future about just kind of using your iPad more productively. And hopefully, if this is good enough, it will feature in that. So, what is this getting stuck on? So lately, I'm getting really bad at taking things out of boxes, which is just crazy. But seriously, what is this stuck on? Ugh, just wasn't pulling hard enough. Okay. So one thing, I have used Pitaka cases before um, with my iPhone, and I really like this sort of like carbon fiber finish that they come with them. Yeah, so see what you get in here. So you get how to use it, like a, a little guide. I think we can figure that out. I like the fact that it's all this kind of recyclable cardboard, so that is nice. And then this little kind of thank you envelope as well. Inside of it, you've got the magnet. So obviously this will go on the back of the iPad. It feels, I mean, I guess it's relatively slim. So it helps protect it from scratches. One thing that I really like about this is, unlike some cases, it also has the um, bit there for the pogo pins. So that way if you are using a magic keyboard with this, you don't have to worry about it getting in the way. So you'll still be able to use this with this case on an Apple Magic Keyboard or any other accessory that uses the pogo pins or the smart connectors. That's a nice touch. Pop it in here first. So I think it goes in like so. Oh, the camera has come on. Hmm. Okay, it feels very, very small and slight. It just doesn't really feel like it's even on there. It's kind of nice and grippy. One thing that I'm not too keen on is it leaves this bottom bit here exposed. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess it's maybe for different types of accessories and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, that is a nice feeling case. Now bear in mind that this case itself costs around about £40 or $40, depending on where you're based. But it does feel very nice. It doesn't add too much weight on, too much width or anything else like that. However, this isn't the main event. Today, we are looking at this, which is the stand. So, as I mentioned, the case itself is an optional accessory. You can just get the stand, and this retails for about £80. So actually, it's not, you know, oddly, too much more than what that case retails for. I'll be very interested to see how premium or not this is, and I guess how sturdy it is. We have unboxed other stands in the past, but they've always been really at that budget end. And recently as well, we've unboxed things like the Moft kind of stand-up desk, which was really nice. But this is made specifically to go with the iPad Pro, so let's have a look. Ooh, it's quite a nice fancy box there. You've got this kind of matte black, then with these uh, kind of glossy bits. A very Apple, slow, suspenseful open. Here we go, right? So inside we have these tracing paper instructions. Very, very bizarre. I think again we can figure that out. Okay, so oh God, you can tell you what, there's a lot of weight behind this, so that's reassuring. I, why can I not unbox anything today? Oh, okay, so that bit comes off there. So that must be the base, yep, for the. Uh, Wireless charger. It's got a, a very odd smell. I can't quite describe it. It's pretty poisonous. I won't be here for much longer, but who knows? Um, so what's in here? Oh god, loads of things. Aha! So, oh my, wow. So in the box you get so um, USB A to USB Type C for the charging. So that is nice. I'm glad that it's USB Type C, and not micro USB. So always a good sign. Another little thank you card. Um, some food for later, and then alignment paper. Okay, so this is for this. So if you don't want to buy, obviously that extra accessory, or 
you just want to use your own case or anything like that, you get this, it sticks onto the back of the iPad, and then that would clip onto the stand, so it'll do a bit of magnets. And there's one thing that Pataka are really well known for, is that they do a lot of cases and a lot of accessories with magnets. You can get different car mounts that have magnets and stuff like that. So if you are in the market for something that's a little bit more premium and has the magnets built into the case, then it might be worthwhile exploring. Now, here we go. So this is the... I guess the neck of it. So let's have a look. See, so that'll go into here. Okay, so just for the camera, let's move all this stuff out of the way. And the boxes and stuff like that. So included, obviously, USB Type C cable. You've got your magnet as well. This is see so wireless charging pad. A decent amount of heft and a little Allen key down there as well. So it must be to attach it all. You've got this fan. So I'm guessing that is to support the charging on there. So that way you can, I believe, fast charge. And these rubber feet as well, so they have stickers on them at the moment, I think. Yep, so little stickers. Ah, okay. So they are rubber feet, but these stickers are on sticky back plastic, so you'll be able to kind of stick it in place, which I guess is quite handy if you want it to be in one place only. Neck rotates. Right, let's have a look. So, looks like we are going to have to loosen these keys and then pop that in. So go into there. Okay, let's pop that. Watch me do some handiwork now. Or electrocute myself. Um, on the back of this, just while I'm screwing it in, there's a, a nice little cutout groove as well for your cable to go through, so that way it's not going to cause it to bump up or rise off your desk or anything like that. So that's a nice little touch. Ta da! We're all screwed in. So that is your case. And it feels weighty enough. Um, You've got so up and down motion, and then you can pivot it. Now, let's try to line the iPad with that. So, oh, there it is. Oh god. Okay, so it's a strong magnet. I, I really hate doing these tests where you start to shake your your iPad because. Okay, I mean I'm giving it a pretty good ball. I don't want to go too much. I'm going to put my hand under it. I feel like the stand will break before the iPad comes off that map. <laughs> yeah, famous last word. Okay, it is a very strong magnet. I don't recommend shaking it all the time or anything like that, but that is on there pretty good. And it's easy enough to get on as well. So there it's on, there it's on, there it's on. So when it's on there, Obviously, you've got the ability to kind of tilt it up, down, so you can change the angle, and then tilt it around as well. So one of the nice things about this is if you wanted to use it, for example, watching a video or something, you can have it on there. It's at a nice height as well. And again, like I said, because you can adjust it like that, depending on which kind of angle you want it at, you could have a keyboard down here and a mouse as well. And actually, it all matches very nice, so... And, uh, ooh. So with that case included, and then all the styling and everything, you've got this kind of carbon fiber finish. Feels very premium, it's weighty. So if you were tapping it on the screen like so, that's not going anywhere. And if you were to knock it, that's not going anywhere either. Again, famous last words, as I smash it off. Um, for anybody who uses an Apple Pencil, there is a groove along the top here, so you can pop it on, you'll still be able to wirelessly charge it. Yeah, I like that. That is very nice and snaps into position. So once it gets to a certain stage or angle, if you're having it in like portrait mode or landscape mode, once it gets there, it doesn't really kind of move too much. There's a little bit of a click and then you can move it again if you want to. So very nice. And it's raised far enough away from this base as well. So that way if you have anything wireless charging there, it's not gonna go anywhere. And it's kind of like this rubbery texture. So if you put a phone onto it, you don't have to worry about knocking your phone and sending that flying. So all in all, first impressions, Really, really impressed with this. I will admit straight out of the box, I'm not too sure about the case. I would, if I was in the market for this, I think I would probably just pick up this because actually 82 pound, it seems relatively pricey at first, but if you're gonna be using an iPad and you wanna use it productively, you wanna maybe have this next to your monitor, use Sidecar, for example, with your Mac, and then you've also got the wireless charging in there for your AirPods, for your phone or whatever. 
it's actually not too bad of a value proposition when it all comes down to it. It's very premium, it feels very solid, and that magnet's pretty good on there as well. And I assume that, obviously once you stick this on, oh God, yeah, you're gonna lose a finger there, so. <laughs> yeah, that the magnet that comes in the box is also a strong magnet as well. So actually, this is probably something that I would personally pick up. Like I said, I'm not too sure about this case. I like it, looks very nice. Feels very, very nice as well. I just, I'm not too sure why, why that's cut out there. I'll have to ask them. There must be a reason. Um, I guess it makes it easy to get it on and off. And like I said, using with certain accessories, I suppose like my bridge keyboard, it would still then clip in. So there are benefits, I suppose, for having that edge exposed. But you know, I guess that's gonna be a preference thing. It's nice to have, and it pairs up nicely with this. However, I think this on its own seems like a pretty solid deal so far. However, this is just our initial impressions as we unbox them, and we will have a full review probably in the next week or so, so make sure you hit subscribe and come along for that. Now, I hope you've enjoyed that video, and if you have, I'm just gonna pop these down before I throw them. If you've got any questions, throw them down in the comments below, and we'll do our best to answer those about this. If you wanna know anything about this, if there's anything in particular you want us to find out about it or the case, then throw them down in the questions, comments, you know what I mean and we will do our best to uh, answer those in the future. Hit like and subscribe in the meantime, and we'll be back in the future with some more awesome content. And thank you very much for Pitaka for sending this stuff over as well. Very much appreciate it. Bye.